Good morning. So I have been up for, oh my, far more hours than I ordinarily am in the morning because I had to run over to the Teamsters office this morning. So um, I've come back. I did a little work. I have um, just stepped away from my desk for a few minutes to make myself uh, some breakfast. So I'm going to make a wrap with eggs, cheese, and salsa. So these are the double yolkers, so I wanted to show you what they look like. So I'm going to do this one-handed. Double yolker. So I'm going to get four yolks out of two eggs. Oh, this one was single. Ha! Huh. So I have three eggs out of two yolks. No. <laughs> three yolks out of two eggs. Still pretty good, but look at the size of the yolk. So I'm going to whisk this up uh, with a little bit of water and then uh, fry it up in a pan. Make myself a wrap with salsa. I'll show you what it looks like in a sec because I have to wash my hands and the counter. So there's the egg all mixed up with a little bit of water, salt, black pepper, and hot sauce. I'm going to pour it into the pan. It has just a little bit of butter in it. What I did is I took the stick, unwrapped it, and just rubbed around the bottom of the pan. Mm, I think I need a little more heat. And I kind of want it to be like scrambled eggs, so I'm just going to agitate the bottom as they start to set up. And this happens pretty quickly. To keep them moist, I'm not going to overcook them. I don't need to brown them or anything. And because I know these are farm fresh eggs, so they're relatively fresh. Let's see when I got them a week ago. Two weeks ago? Less than two weeks ago. So I know that they're pretty good. And then I'll warm up the tortilla shell. Uh, is it a flour tortilla in the oven? for a minute or two. Or maybe right in this pan after I cook the eggs. And then I'll wrap myself a breakfast egg and cheese and salsa burrito. Mm, yum. I have to do it with my other hand. <laughs> so there's my breakfast. Just because I'm cooking for one doesn't mean it, it can't be pretty or um, tasty or enticing or that I don't need to spend time on myself. So it's scrambled eggs with a little bit of mozzarella cheese, hot sauce, a little bit of a dash of water, salt, black pepper, salsa, lime, and some blistered uh, flour tortillas. So I'm gonna go enjoy this and uh, get going with my day. Yeah, fuel for the fire. Well, it's not looking like Polly's coming home today, so I have to get the garbage out myself. Well, not that I was gonna make him do it when he came home from the hospital either, but. Oh, I have no one to commiserate with. You know, that's one of the things that I think I miss the most when he's not around. Is all the goofy things that I think of. I can't really call him as often. And, you know. So that companionship's very important. Whether it's human or animal kind. Granted, the animals have been very lovely to me. But I'm ready for some human interaction. So I just did a video of uh, my quick pesto. Which I'll include a link below. So you can check it out if you want to. And I think since Polly is not coming home today, I'm going to... Well, what started off is I needed to prune back my basil plant. And um, the bigger basil, not the compact, cute little bush basil in the pot. I knew I needed to trim it back and I didn't want the leaves to go to waste. And I thought, hmm, what did I want to have for dinner? Because last night mom and dad took me out. The night before I had... I don't remember what I had. Uh, so I thought, ooh, Polly doesn't like pesto. Why don't I make something for myself with pesto? So I think I might have pesto with shells tonight. So I thought, eh, I have to prune the, ba the basil. I have um, hazelnuts, so I used hazelnuts instead of pine nuts. Lovely flavor. I like it garlicky. And the last thing that I'm going to do is put a squeeze of lemon over the whole pasta. So that's what I'm going to have for dinner. But not until after I go visit him. So... I have to see how quickly I can wrap up what I'm doing for at work right now. 
so I can run over and go visit him because I've not been there today. I had a whole bunch of work things that absolutely had to be done. And to be honest, he's healing. He's doing well. Um, I don't need to sit there and watch him watch TV. So that goes without saying. I know he's eager to get the hell out of Dodge. So we're hoping. There's some good news. There's a very slim chance I might come home tonight. But I think they're still going to keep them till tomorrow. Once this whole situation with the hospital stay and all that is stabilized and resolved, I will share my personal opinion of the chaotic healthcare issues we've encountered. Because, you know, it's not until you actually go to use something that you sometimes get exposed to things and... I would never have thought, some of the things I found out, I would never would have thought. And mind you, I work for a health healthcare company and have for the last 18 years. Yeah, 18 years. It kind of shocked me. Um, and I will go into greater detail, prob probably in tomorrow's vlog, just to, to explain it. And the amount of paperwork that I had to go through is insane. And it's really only because of a glitch that occurred um, since Polly's last hospital stay. But it's neither here or there. I just, I hope, I, you know, I wish that for him to come home soon and, you know, I have to get instructions from the nurse uh, on what medication he has to be on. I want to be there in order for, you know, to keep track of it because I'll definitely write it down. And I know I need to, uh, I'll be giving him shots for the interim. I'm not sure for how long. So it's another thing I need to find out. So sterile needles, all that. I don't mind giving him shots. I'm actually looking forward to it. I know he's not, but I am. Because there's something about the love, you know, the power of authority and the needle. And I don't know. I, let's not go Fifty Shades of Grey on, but, you know, you get the idea, right? I know some of you are probably cringing, ugh, needles, but I it doesn't bother me in the very least. I probably could even give shots to myself without an issue, but giving shots to somebody else, that's even easier for me, I think. But we'll see. This is what my brain thinks now. We'll see what happens when I actually have to administer them. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, try to wrap up what I'm working on for work uh, so I can run over and see him and then be back in order to get garbage ready and make myself dinner because I don't want to be eating late. Uh, my goal is to eat by like 7 or so. So it's going to be an abridged visit because it's already 4.30. Well, it's alright. So um, that's what's going on. That's why there hasn't been much um, vlog-wise today. And uh, maybe I'll bring you guys, when I, br when I go to leave, I'll show you some of the garden. Uh, cucumbers are looking good. Um, zucchini looks like crap. The flowers were gorgeous. They're all breaking off and falling. So I don't know if it's there's something missing in the soil or if they're getting choked out by the radishes that are too close. I honestly don't know. I have to do a little research. It seems really sad. I have four uh, beautiful zucchini plants, big leaves, flowers bloom, gorgeous, no fruit, nothing. Not a single stinking zucchini. Oh, but I do have two um, eggplant flowers on. Hopefully they will grow. Uh, we'll see. My, I'm not I'm not impressed with my garden this year, and it's probably because I'm not giving it the love that it deserves. Cucumbers look nice, but everything else is kind of like, eh. The residual, eh. All right, I will check in with you guys shortly. Did I mention this would be great on chicken breast, grilled or broiled in the oven? Mmm, delicious. But I'm going to make it on pasta. Making pesto linguine for one. There's my pesto my bowl. Better go get some of that fresh little basil. I just don't want the pasta to overcook so I'm not walking away. It's official. I don't like the chicks. Look at what they do to me. Scratch me up. Little bitches. There's my dinner. It's fresh homemade pesto with um, hazelnuts, cheese, parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano and some of the compact basil leaves from the little bush plant outside in the garden. So I think that's going to be it for me for today because I absolutely need some downtime. I'm going to eat dinner and go visit with Polly and then probably come back, get the garbage out, and then take a nice long soak in the tub. 
I'm ready for Friday tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully Polly will be home tomorrow. So that's it for me for today. Don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and helps me out. And I'll include a link to the pesto video separately. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow, which will be a much better day. Thanks for watching, everyone.